Okay, so uh, welcome back. Now, this is the PC that I'm actually running. This is the hardware part of it. It's still up and running. I didn't actually shut it down at all. Now, I'm using my phone for the extra light that I'm going to need. Uh, first of all, you can... Oops, let me just go ahead and do this. First of all, you can notice that it's 1000 watt gold thermal take power supply so you will need a good power supply if you want to have like three gpus running although i purely doubt that it's using 1000 watts it's probably using around 700 or something like that anyway uh next two things you have the oops i'm kind of blocking myself here you have the first the two the two graphic cards so strix one asus and strix two asus so they're both plugged in here and one thing to keep in mind here is the fact that these are pretty big graphic cards i mean uh whatever graphic cards you take you need to make sure that they will fit onto your motherboard in a physical sense so even though you have pci slots pci express slots that's all fine and dandy but you need to make sure that so that in terms of size they can fit because i've barely managed to fit these two in just barely the first graphic cards from the top, this is the AMD uh, W600 Fire Pro. And just between, so let's go and dig deep. Let me just positionize myself. Okay. So if you can see right here in between the Asus and in between the AMD graphics card, uh, there is a small plate, and that small plate is my PCI exp PCI SSD, PCI-based SSD. So it's M2, and it has a PCI plate. It goes into the PCI slot, so it's very it's very fast, which is very convenient for me. The cooling here, uh, the cooling solution, is basically not water cooling. There is literally no need, in my opinion. Uh, the processor does get worn when I'm rendering videos, but other than that, it can run VMs just fine without any problems. Okay, so you have the memory plate, you have the memory plates, there, RAM plates, the cooler, the CPU, the motherboard, but the important part is these two graphic cards. So you should take into consideration this thing. I mean, it's very important what I'm about to say, so keep it I'm sorry about the camera, I'm sorry about the setup, I can't do any better, uh, but you need to hear this out. You see, the first AMD card is the, is the graphic card that I'm using on the host, and you should always place that graphic card in the very first PCI slot next to the processor. And then the other ones you place down the road, so one after another, it doesn't matter where. But the first one should be always the closest. I'm pretty sure it would work even if, you, if it wasn't the closest one, but that's just a recommendation from me to you. Now on certain motherboards, you will have a recommendation in terms of where to plug in your graphic card in the first, third slot or something like that, but you can go by that. However, I had to go by, I had to fit them where I could because they're pretty big graphic cards and I could only fit them in this order and in no other way. So as long as your primary graphic card is the closest to the processor, that should be fine as, I don't know, that's just the way it works. So we can have a discussion on why it should be the first and why it's not, why perhaps it's not important, but I think that it is important. And I've encountered some problems where if it's not the first, the host system will actually grab the NVIDIA graphic card, and if you don't have any monitors plugged into it, uh, it will try to display something, but you won't be able to see anything during your initial setup stages. So if you just plug in this one first for the host system, uh, it will pick up that in an automated fashion, and it will basically display the image on the screens on your monitors. Okay, so uh, let me just rotate this around the camera amazing really okay so you can see my plants behind me they've grown quite well on the other side of things anyway 
that would be it here as far as the physical setup is concerned. From this point on, I'll start recording the screen and we will only do this thing and you the in, the quality of the videos will improve, I assure you, because I'll do screen recordings as this is most inconvenient for me to record in this fashion. Just one more thing while we're here. Go ahead and take a look at oh, behind. So this is how the cabling looks on this end. It goes straight through the wall and onto the other side. And you can have monitors plug into your primary graphics card and into your graphic card which are for the VM. So you can only change the input on the monitors. As you can see, this one here, this is a HDMI for one monitor and this is the HDMI for the other monitor. And they're plugged into two graphic cards that I'm passing to the VMs. And here you have four mini display ports. So the same monitors are plugged in at the same time to multiple graphic cards so that you may conduct switching between the host and the VM on the monitors. You just change the input source on the monitor. And if you change it to HDMI, it's gonna display the image from the VM. And if you change it to DisplayPort, it's going to display the image from the host machine. This is perfectly fine to have the same monitors plugged into multiple graphic cards, in my opinion anyway. So. Bid you farewell and hope to see you in the follow-ups.